Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In today's video, we're going to be covering confidence intervals. In this problem, we have a college admissions director wishes to estimate the mean age of all students currently enrolled. In a random sample of 30 students, the mean age is found to be 22.9 years. From past studies, the standard deviation is known to be 1.5 years, and the population is normally distributed. Our task here is to construct a confidence interval of the population mean age with a confidence level of 95%. A few things we know from the problem settings already. For instance, we're doing a confidence interval for the mean age. And besides that, we have to identify with a couple of other things. But let's start off with the confidence interval for the mean age. So a confidence interval for the mean age, there's two ways we can solve this. One is the confidence interval is the x bar, take away the error, and plus or minus. This is a shortcut formula where the x bar represents the best point estimate and the e represents the margin of error, where e, depending on what you're solving, whether it's t score or z score is very, really a critical factor to this. So the second way this formula could be written, I'll write that before getting into the margin of error, is taking the x bar and subtracting the e and making this less than the mu symbol, less than the x bar plus the e. Now either way we could get the confidence interval by adding and subtracting to the estimate or doing it this way and manually evaluating the left and the right. Now in this condition, in this case for this problem, the condition tells us because the standard deviation is known to be 1.5 years, we know that our, our z-score, we're going to do this with a z-score, not a t-distribution. And it's a z-distribution, it's normal distribution because of it. Not only is the population normally distributed, but the, since the standard deviation is known to be a value, we have to use the formula using the z-score. So here our critical z-value, which is the z of alpha divided by 2, multiplies by the sigma, divided by the square root of n. And this is the formula to calculate our margin of error. So right up here, I'll leave a little note. Margin of error. And again, the x bar is just our po best point estimate for the case. So let's take a look at what they give us in the problem. Here we know the sample is of 30 college students. So here we have our n. n equals 30 college students. What else do we know? The mean age the mean age is found to be 22.9 years. So that's our x bar because this mean is coming from the sample of 30 students. So this tells us the mean is coming from the sample. So we have our sample mean here to be 22.9. The last thing we need to know to do this is the standard deviation, right? The standard deviation is known to be 1.5 years. And since it's known, that means that we're using sigma. And that's 1.5. Now besides this, we also have the confidence level. Confidence level is 95%, so we're going to write here CL equals 0 0.95. And to calculate our alpha, to get this Z critical, we have to first do 1 minus the confidence level. Because alpha is equal to 1 minus the CL, and this is 1 minus the 0 0.95, which gives us 0 0.05. So just using the confidence level, we can look in our Z-score chart, look at the bottom right corner. And we know we have three critical values that are given for three common confidence levels. One of those confidence levels are 95 percent, 0 0.95. And the critical value for that, that common value for the z of alpha divided by 2 for, one point, uh, for 0 0.95 is 1.96, right? This is the common critical value for 95 percent confidence level. So we have everything we need to calculate our margin of error. So let's calculate that margin of error. And the z alpha divided by 2 will be 1.96. We're multiplying that by our sigma, which is 1.5. And we're dividing the sigma by the square root of n, where n is 30. So we have the square root of 30 here. Now to set this up easier for those of you who are at home and you have to use your calculator to calculate this, a lot of times we get confused on how to do this correctly. Let's set this up horizontally. So we have 1.96 parentheses, 1.5 parentheses divided by the square root of 30. And if we calculate this correctly, we should get the correct result. So our margin of error here is 0 0.5. 
five, three, six, and seven. Right? We're going to stop writing these numbers down. If you're using a calculator, you'd understand why. But more importantly, where do we round the margin of error to? Well, if we look at our, our best point estimate here, we see that we have one decimal place. So our margin of error should go one extra position. Because the margin of error, like everything else, including standard deviation, should always go one extra position to our average. All right? So we're going to round this value to 0 0.54. Now, I mentioned before there's two ways to do this. So here we could take our best point estimate, and we have our best point estimate plus and minus our margin of error. And this will give us 22.9 plus or minus 0 0.54. And when we do the minus, what we get, 22.9 minus 0 0.54. If you're calculating this with a calculator, we get 22.36. There's the first beginning of the interval. When we do 22.9 plus 0 0.54, we get 23.44. So let me rewrite this in a different way. This is one way to calculate your confidence interval. So the other way is a little bit easier because it substitutes in perfectly. So our second version, I'll do this one in black. We have x bar minus the e, less than the mu, less than the x bar, plus the e. Our x bar is 22.9, our best point estimate. Our margin of error, 0 0.54. The mu remains the same. And we have here on the other side the same numbers. So over here, again, we got 22.36 on the left. And on the right, we get 23.44. So now to conclude this, we see that our, our confidence interval goes from 22.36 all the way to 23.44. So we are 95% confident that the true mean age of all students currently enrolled is between 22.36 years to 23.44 years of age. Thank you.